All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios. This is uh, with the Freedom Blanket. I like this. We're actually going to get a really cool table in here and a desk and set it up a little bit more permanently so I can be more consistent on this thing. I got about eight hours of driving ahead of me, and, and I, was, I was thinking to myself that I didn't really want to do a video today. I, uh, but what happened, I was just perusing my computer and I saw some things from Truth About Guns. John Koch, I think his name is. Anyway, he had a really neat article in there talking about Hillary Clinton. And I, I, I read it and I listened to the little tape there. I'm going to put the link down below because I feel it's really important. But it's about a, uh, a statement made by one of my favorite anti gun people. Her name is Hillary Clinton. You may remember her. She's the uh, the winch that is married to uh, the guy, uh, Bill Clinton, the guy that never inhaled and he did not have sexual relations with that woman, which is all bullshit because everything that comes out of those people's mouths is a complete and total lie. Isn't it amazing how that happens? Well, anyway, she is on the kick again, man, the anti-gun thing. And what she was talking about are, are us, people like us. We're gun worshipers, but you know what? I'm more than just a gun worshiper. I am a gun fanatic, and I am a Second Amendment rights activist. And in doing that, one of the things that I'm endeavored to do is give you guys uh, some insight on what my thoughts are about these idiots out there. Now, again, what she is talking about is uh, Ted Cruz and his the ilk. And I don't know what the hell she means by ilk. I guess she's talking about you and I. But her whole thing is, is she's talking about the legislation that they had back in the 90s and what a great job it did at reducing gun crime uh, or violence. But it's interesting because I think what they feel, people like her, is that, and, and, and do, guys, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the Clintons and them having to stick their noses where they don't belong. <laughs> because they don't have any skin in the game, guys. I guarantee they're surrounded by people with guns. But she talks about the rights of other people. We have the right, they have the right to go to school, to go shop. Uh, you know, they can't do that because, well, there are good, innocent, law-abiding citizens out there with firearms. Is that right? Because I have an AR-15 and my, you know, uh, rallying around removing somebody's right to go to school, go to church, go shopping? <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm not the person that they need to be worried about. And the interesting part about it is Hillary Clinton and her ilk, they are so hell-bent in taking your rights away as law-abiding citizens, removing your ability to go out, shoot a competition, shoot precision of a rifle, defend yourself with a semi-automatic firearm like my friend uh, couldn't understand why anybody needed a semi-automatic firearm. But I swear to God, the, the comments that I received back, and a lot of them, they made perfect sense. They want to take the firearms away from you. And people who don't understand this, this is their game. They feel like as long as you have a firearm, that their life is being threatened. I am not here to threaten anyone. And I guarantee if you're on the other end of this camera, you're not here to threaten anyone either. Which is why it's comical that they are constantly going after you and I, but they won't go after who they need to. And that's the criminals. Hell, you can't even go to Philadelphia and serve a warrant if you think somebody's got a gun or a gang member because, well, they're afraid to offend somebody or they're saying that that's racist if they go after gangbangers. Go after the root cause. Go after the, 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 the damn criminals. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about the people watching this thing, my message to Hillary Clinton. Because we are not who you need to worry about until such time as you deem it necessary to come take our guns. And that ain't happening, ladies and gentlemen. We are in charge. She talks about the filibuster. If they remove the filibuster, we're done. And it shit makes me mad. But these are my thoughts. Hillary Clinton, leave it alone. Get out. Go, go enjoy your retirement. Because we deplorables... <laughs> <laughs> no one's coming and getting our stuff. But it's people like you that just, you're not reasonable. What is this common sense, reasonable, common sense gun legislation? 
Now, this video is probably boring you, but those are the things that I think about while I'm driving down the road. And I'm happy and I'm glad that you're here to share <laughs> with me. Uh, before we leave, thanks very much to the uh, Patr Patreon guys. Uh, I really appreciate your support and uh, we're able to get some ammo and that's what that money is used for, uh, reloading supplies when we can get it and uh, moving forward. So with that being said, guys, uh, always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is the Second Amendment. It is the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fourteenth Amendment. While they're sitting there, and I don't care where you are on politically, but while somebody is sitting there talking about how the Second Amendment does not cover uh, AR-15s, they're over there with Planned Parenthood trying to figure out how to <laughs> destroy uh, millions of body parts. Ah, whatever. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.